My name is Lillian Davidson and I first got involved with Queen Margaret University when I was about 12. I was born at 26 weeks gestation, which is really early, about three months early. The common thought for how my hearing loss developed is the autotoxic drugs that were given to me at birth. Autotoxic roughly translates to poisonous to the ears, so I had permanently damaged little hairs on my cochlea. So at about two and a half to three years old, I was given a cochlear implant, which has truly given me the best gift I could ever have. So here at Queen Margaret University, we're very much involved in research and developing new techniques for tomorrow's speech and language therapists. And we're able to use information that we gather here and recordings that we make of the clients that come in to see us to train um, speech and language therapists of tomorrow. The clinic is very much set up as an articulatory clinic where we can use EPG and ultrasound to investigate the speech errors and work with individuals who have intractable speech disorders. Ironically enough, the one thing I struggle with probably the most is saying my own name because there's two L's in it which are very specific sounds. So we assessed Lily's speech and we were able to, to go ahead with it. So we had a palette made for Lily. Lily would have had an impression of her upper teeth made like this. This then gets um, sent off to the um, technician who constructs one of these, these EPG palettes. On the palette, there are 62 silver electrodes. So each silver electrode is connected to a small copper wire, which is channeled out through the palette and into this comb. The comb fits into a multiplexer, which is worn round the individual client's neck, and that connects the child or adult to the computer so that they can then visualize where their tongue is touching on the roof of the mouth on the computer screen. On the computer screen, we can see exactly where the tongue is touching the roof of the mouth and we can compare that to patterns that we know are accurate for speech sounds. So we can use it in the assessment um, of somebody's speech and diagnosis, but we can also use it for um, therapy. Uh, and for that, we are able to put up um, a stored pattern which shows what it is that this person should be achieving. And then they can try and copy that pattern. I did this program for three or four years I would definitely say it's changed my life for the better because before I think you could easily tell I was a deaf child with a speech problem but now I would probably describe myself as a young adult with perhaps a slight speech impairment. One of the biggest things I see is the growth in confidence. You give them the tools, you give them the techniques to be able to correct their speech when things go wrong. There's so many different things that I've achieved because of the EPG programme, including, you know, getting full marks in my French speaking exam at higher, getting an A in English as well. And right now I'm currently studying law at Aberdeen University, which I never thought would be possible because I thought I would not being able to express myself clearly, it's just completely changed my life. I am eternally grateful to Sarah Wood for all the work that she's done, all the hours she's put in, the time she's put up with my frustration at not being able to get certain words. There was one time when I broke my EPG and she managed to put it back together and get it working all within 10 minutes. And that kind of professionalism and skill, I don't think you'd be able to find anywhere else.